Hello and welcome. Pause this video, give it a shot on your own, and then resume when you're ready to talk about it. Let's read the question. The winning time for the men's 400 meter race in each of the Olympic Games from 1976 to 96 can be modeled by this equation. Y equals negative 0.054x plus 44.54. Okay, where x is the number of years after 1976, okay, so y equals negative 0.054x, x is the years since 1976, plus 44.54, okay, and y is the winning time. Well, that's really cool, I didn't know that. I hope this is true. That's really neat. What this is saying is that the winning time negative slope here. This is mx plus b format. y equals m at times x plus b. m is your slope or your, your, your rate of change. And this time, since we're looking at a total winning time, this rate is saying the time is going down by zero, uh, point, zero point zero five four seconds each year since 1976. Isn't that cool? 44.54 is saying, well, that must be what's called the starting point or the starting time. When x is 0, that means it is 1976, 0 years since 1976. And if you plug in 0 for x, what you get is 44.54, right? Anything times 0 cancels out. So 1976, this must have been the winning time, 44.54. Every year, I guess they're getting a little bit faster. So I knew, I knew this, and you know, because we could plug in values, but also because b is the y-intercept, and that's our starting value. So that must be our starting time. Okay, which equation can be used to predict the winning time in the year 2020? Well, 2020. Oops, 2020. Um, that's 20 years after 2000, so it's minus 20 to get to 2000. And then 2000 to 1976 is another 24 years. So that's 44 years in the, f in the future from 1976. And we plug in 44 for x, and t is the answer. All right, hope this helped.